and today I present to you another installment in my underrated series. Today's underrated artist is Carrie Foe. Carrie Foe is a whole vibe. First of all, she's from Little Rock, Arkansas. I see you, Little Rock. You better push through. Anyways, though, Carrie Foe is a rapper, but her songs feel like R&B. She raps. She sings, she songwrites, and she produces. The talent, it just leaps out at you. <laughs> Carrie Foe first got some buzz back in 2014 with her single, No Small Talk. The track caught on like wildfire and immediately went viral. Eventually, it caught the attention of Childish Gambino, who gave her a major co-sign and hopped on the remix. Me personally, I got hip to Carrie Foe through Insecure. I know y'all know Insecure, the bomb show by Issa Rae. And if you don't, you're living under a rock. <laughs> well anyways, a few of Carrie Foe's songs have been featured on Insecure and they fit that show so perfectly. It's crazy. Okay, so what makes Carrie Foe underrated? Her songwriting is outstanding. Her lyrics sound like how I talk inside my head. <laughs> like they're super relatable and her lyrics are also super catchy. Then when she raps, it's like she's just talking. Literally like she's just having a conversation with all of us listeners. I appreciate her style of rap because it's very relaxing. So I went to her show the other day and it was so dope. Like, oh my God. <laughs> her authenticity really shines through. There is nothing about her that seems fake or pretentious. Now that I think about it, it's pretty ironic that Fo is in her name. <laughs> What's cool about her discography right now is that you can see her opening up more and more as time goes on. Her latest EP, Cry For Help, is a lot more vulnerable than her first album. So I'm just very interested in the music that she's gonna create as she matures and just navigates life. Okay, so what are my favorite Carrie Faux songs? First song I'm gonna go with is Nighttime. This song is off her latest EP, Cry For Help. Remember how I said earlier that she produces as well? She produced this song along with Black Party. I like this song because it bounces, but it's smooth too. So I like that contrast. I also like the little string melody on top, you know, giving me Miri Ben Ari vibes. <laughs> It's tight, I dig, I dig. <laughs> Next song I would have to highlight would be Low Key. This is from her second album called Primary. This song is about keeping your relationship private and other people out your business. And let me tell you, I relate to that. <laughs> oh, and this was one of those songs that was featured on Insecure. Last song I'm gonna highlight is Color Theory. <laughs> okay, so this song feels new and old at the same time. <laughs> like it has this 80s feel to it that is so dope. The synth in this song, humping, okay? Humping. <laughs> what I like too is that the subject matter is refreshing. I have never heard a song about the color of your aura. So I appreciate Carrie Foe for going there. So I say all of this to say that Carrie Foe is an outstanding artist just all around. And I feel like she does not get her just due. So y'all should do yourself a favor and check her out. <laughs> All right, so that's it for me today. Let me know your thoughts on Carrie Foe. I wanna hear from you. 
go ahead, drop a comment, tell me what you think of Carrie Faux and what your favorite songs are from her. Don't forget to like this video and also go ahead, hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more of me. <laughs> All right, I'll be back very soon. There's a 95.6% chance that it's gonna be a lock video. So yeah, I'll see you guys the next time. Have an excellent and blessed week. I love you guys. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys the next time. Peace.